Shalom to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have a word just for you. My brothers and sisters, if you want to get in touch with me, if you want me to pray with you, if you want to uh, send me your testimonies, you can now do so through my WhatsApp number and through my email address. All these details are in the about section of this channel. My brothers and sisters, I will respond to your messages. So don't be afraid to ask. Ask when you need help. Don't say that you are okay by yourself. I know some of you, you have been betrayed by people. And some of you, it is very hard to trust someone. But my brothers and sisters, when you hear God speak to you, do what he wants you to do. Because when you ask for someone to pray for you, you will get your deliverance. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That was the, that's what the scripture says. So, today's word is put away childish things. This is a word of direction, a word of encouragement, a loving word. My brothers and sisters, some of you, there are things in your life that are still childish in the eyes of God. Of course, to you, it may seem like these things do not matter. Some of you, uh, your behaviors, your lifestyle is still childish. To the world, they celebrate it. To the world, they may call you a hero. To the world, they may call you one of them. But you are not of the world. Though you live in this world, you are not of the world. That is why the scripture says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to renew your mind on a daily basis because there are ideas, there is information out there that is going to destroy your life. There is information that is not for you. It may be good for them, but not good for you. Some of you can relate to this. There are certain kinds of food that you cannot eat. That when you eat to them, they cause allergies. It causes an allergic reaction. It causes problems in your body. It's not that that food is bad. No, it is not bad. It could be good food. People eat that food and they are okay with it. But for you, when you eat it, it causes a problem in your body. Maybe the doctor prescribed you certain kinds of food you should eat. That is how the things of God are. God has prescribed you what you should take, the information that you should take. Do you know that the word of God is the, the word of God is likened unto food? It is bread. That's why you see Jesus referred to himself as the bread of life. Jesus is the word of God, the word made flesh. And if you eat of the, the word of God, you shall be made well. Some of you, you feel low. Low self-esteem. Things are not working the way you should work out. They should work out. It's because you don't have the word in you. You don't have the word in you. Today's powerful word is from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 to 13. I'll repeat. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 to 13. And it reads, When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then, face to face, now I know in part, but then I shall know as just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The greatest of these is love. It is good to have faith and hope. But the Bible says, the greatest of this is love. You cannot say you love God 
yet to hate your neighbor, yet to hate people, yet to hate men, yet to hate women, yet to hate a certain race. You can't, you can't say that you love God, yet to love one race, you hate the other. You can't say. Love goes beyond that. That's why you see Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. The world, he loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you. So, he, by him loving you, he demonstrated it. By giving his only begotten son. Some of your love is just in words. You say you love your spouse, your partner. Yet it's just in words. You don't demonstrate it. Love is demonstrated. There's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. For Abraham to show that he loved God, he had to go that lane of trying to sacrifice his son Isaac. You see? I'm not saying you should sacrifice your children. No, 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 no. no. But I'm trying to say that for you to love God, there are some things that you need to sacrifice. Time. Some behaviors that you need to, 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 to deal away with. Because if you don't deal with those behaviors, if you don't deal with those uh, lifestyles, in the eyes of God, it is childish. Right now, some of you, you're not supposed to be taking milk. You're supposed to be taking solid food. If some of you have children who are about 15, or people who have grown up, uh, they're about 20, but they're still breastfeeding, then you know that there's something wrong with them. You know there's something wrong with them. At 15, at 17, at 20, at 30, you're supposed to be taking solid food. The Bible says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. God expects you to put away childish things. God expects you to approach his throne as a man who understands authority. God expects you to speak to that mountain, to be thou mood and cast into the sea, and it shall be so. God expects you to understand some principles of the kingdom. God does not expect you to be tossed around by the enemy. He expects you to step on that snake, that serpent. To step on that scorpion and you will not be hurt. Brothers and sisters, it's the end of this word. Until next time, God bless you.